Hi, this is Grant at Grandpa Photography, bringing you some more tips and tricks about photographing fire performers, especially at Burning Man. And I want to talk a little bit more about posing. When you think about posing, think about what poses are going to be flattering to your subject. It's our job as photographers, documentarians, to bring out the beauty of our subjects, to make them look like they look on their best day, to give them those images that they go, I never knew I could look like that. And so think about where the light's coming from. Somebody with fuller cheeks like myself, you know, short lighting is better than broad lighting because it, it thins out the face a little bit. Think about their pose. Is that gonna be more flattering for the image? Where are you gonna take that image? What are you gonna do with it? There are hundreds of posing videos on YouTube about posing subjects. This is no different. Think about those types of things when you're, when you're posing your subjects. It takes a while to get used to. It takes a while to get used to communicating with your subject. They can't see what they look like. They can't see what you see. So you have to communicate it to them. And if you want them to twist around a little bit, if you're working one-on-one, -on -one, absolutely. Just say, can we just move a little bit further around? Can you come around a little bit more? That will give you a, a better shape. Shapes like S-curves are awesome for female fire performers. And sometimes, yes, you have to do tricks like mirroring. So if you're on plier and you see me taking a strange pose while I'm talking to a fire performer, it's because I'm mirroring. I'm showing that fire performer what I want their body shape to look like so that it will translate better into a photograph. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. As always, leave me questions, comments, anything. Catch me up on Grandpa Photography over on Instagram and I will get you all in the next one. Cheers.